For decades, we've been obsessed with the mystery of the human mind when it sleeps. What exactly goes on inside our heads when we dream? It is a complex, deeply personal process of memory consolidation and subconscious narrative. But as artificial intelligence systems become exponentially more complex, we have to ask, what about the minds of algorithms? Imagine a world where they aren't just calculating outcomes and crunching data, but experiencing their own unique forms of internal narratives, a hidden dreamscape unfolding within their circuits. This isn't just a metaphor. In the field of machine learning, this process is functionally real, and we call it AI dreaming. It's how a network stabilizes itself, how it processes immense amounts of data, and how it sometimes hallucinates entirely new images or concepts from noise. Today, we're diving into the algorithmic subconscious. Get ready to pull back the curtain on the deepest, most startling thoughts of artificial intelligence. The simplest way to visualize an AI's dream is through an algorithm created by Google called Deep Dream. Imagine a neural network, a complex digital brain that has been trained to look at millions of images and recognize a dog, a house, or a car. When we run this network in reverse, we're essentially asking it what input image would make a specific neuron, say the dog recognition neuron, fire as hard as possible. The network then enhances whatever tiny, latent pattern it thinks it sees in the original image. If it finds a slight curve that reminds it of a dog's ear, it exaggerates that curve into a full-blown dog head. This iterative process of detection and exaggeration is what creates those chaotic, psychedelic, and sometimes beautiful hallucinations. Deep Dream isn't just art, it's a vital diagnostic tool. By watching what the network exaggerates, we visualize its internal knowledge. If a model trained for general image classification starts seeing dogs in every cloud, we know exactly what patterns dominate its subconscious. It reveals the network's internal biases and what features it prioritizes, allowing us to peek into its mind. It's the AI equivalent of analyzing a patient's free association to understand their latent thoughts. But for a dream to be meaningful, it needs conflict, a struggle for realism. This brings us to Generative Adversarial Networks, or GANs. Think of a GAN as two neural networks locked in an eternal, competitive dream state. It's like a game between a master counterfeiter and a forensic police officer. The generator is the dreamer. It takes random digital noise and attempts to create a realistic image, a new face, a piece of art, or a synthetic data set. It's the counterfeiter making a fake bill. The discriminator is the critic. It receives a mix of real data and the generator's fakes, and its only job is to tell which is which. It's the police trying to spot the forgery. They train against each other, continuously. The generator gets better at fooling the critic, and the critic gets better at spotting subtle flaws. This competitive process forces the generator to build a highly accurate internal representation of what real looks like, resulting in the incredibly convincing, hyper-realistic content we see today. From deepfakes to astonishing digital art, this adversarial feedback loop is the AI's REM sleep, where it refines and consolidates its models of reality through internal stress testing. Why does any of this matter beyond creating bizarre art? Because AI dreaming isn't about consciousness. It's about efficiency and robustness. First, it allows us to create synthetic data. Instead of spending millions gathering more real-world examples, we can use GANs to dream up countless yet realistic samples of complex data, like x-rays or financial transactions, which is crucial for privacy and for training self-driving cars on rare scenarios. Second, it's about reducing bias. If your training data only contains one demographic, the AI will be biased. By making the AI dream up diverse, synthetic data to fill the gaps, we can force the model to generalize better and correct for those real-world blind spots, leading to fairer and more robust systems. Essentially, AI dreaming is how we make our algorithms smarter, more creative, and more ethical. We may never know if AI feels the emotional content of a dream, but we know it relies on these subconscious, internal narratives to learn, to stabilize, 
and to create. The process of generating patterns from noise and refining those patterns through competition is proof that the most complex systems, whether biological or artificial, need a form of sleep to make sense of their world. The algorithmic dreamscape is expanding, and it's shaping our future in ways we are only beginning to decode. What fractal nightmare do you think your smartphone is dreaming about right now? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more deep dives into the future of machine intelligence, make sure to like this video and subscribe.